eOrganic proudly presents its Organic Dairy video series. The information in the series is brought to you by University of Vermont Extension and eOrganic, with funding from the USDA Organic Agriculture Research and Extension Initiative. eOrganic is eExtension's organic agriculture community of practice, providing certified organic agriculture information to farmers, educators, certifiers, and other agricultural professionals throughout the United States. For more information, visit us at extension.org slash organic underscore production. One of the things that I've devised on my farm for um, fly prevention is, uh, I guess, a thing that's come to be known as the fly barrel. It's basically an expanded version of the of the little one gallon containers that you know you put a, a, a bait for the attractant for the flies in into it. The flies fly in, there's a little liquid in the bottom, they get trapped and they can't get out. So this is, is basically just a, an expanded version of that. I took a 55 gallon barrel, um, cut a hole on the top and put a piece of plexiglass for, for the light so when the flies, once they're in the barrel, they fly towards the light. Um, there's about um, eight to ten inches of water in the bottom with a few drops of dish soap as a surfactant so when the flies get in it they uh, they drown and then the entrance is um there's there's four pvc pipes on the sides with an elbow that goes in and down mm -hmm. so the flies fly into the the barrel um they see the light from the top window and they fly towards the light and, and they don't know how to get out and to get the fly barrel started um basically you just need to use something that uh doesn't smell very good um, you know some you know decomposing leftover food or or just something that, that starts to get in that barrel and rot and smells really awful and the flies will go for it and and once you've got enough flies in there I just use a, like a little aquarium fish net to dip out the dead flies and the, as the flies decompose in there they continue to to make the own attractant so it, it, all summer long when it's hot out it, it smells pretty bad and and fills up with flies so, how many flies did you get recently? Um, well, I, I, I got three barrels of these on my farm, and the other day I went around with the five gallon bucket and my my little dip net and filled the whole five gallon bucket full of flies that, that I took out of these three barrels. And uh, the folks here, and today we were, we were trying to estimate how many flies were in there, and we come up with a round figure of about a million flies. So, I was pretty happy to think that there's a million flies that weren't bugging my cows. So. And so how how often do you have to clean out those the fly traps? Um, depends on the time of year. Dep yeah, you know, it depends on the fly level on a cool day like, you know, that we're going to get today in the next few days, the fly levels really drop down and they stay pretty dormant, but when it's hot and dry and, and the flies are active, um, you know, I might have to, to scoop them out every week and, uh, and they just keep working. You know, that's the nice thing about the barrels is once you've got them started, um, there's you know, there's really nothing to do, nothing to add, nothing to worry about. You just drive by and scoop out the flies and they, and they keep working for you. I see you have it near a place where the cattle will yeah, congregate, yeah. near the water tank Correct. here. You know, when the, when the cows come in, there's lots of flies on them. Anytime the cows move around, they shake the flies off. And the flies will look to congregate on, on you know, solid dark objects to stay warm. So, you know, I've, I've always noticed that the fly, this whole fence post right behind it will be covered with flies. So I set the pole right next to the the uh, fly barrel right next to the pole and when the cows walk by the whole side of the barrel becomes covered with flies and as we're milking all those flies will slowly you know filter their way into the barrel. Um, the other thing that, that I've noticed is that the color of the barrel makes a big difference that a darker barrel will attract oh. flies from farther away because flies tend to look for you know a cow like object so they'll look for something dark and the other thing is the dark barrel you know, warms the, the inside of the barrel up to keep that bait in there, you know, really smelling nasty to, to keep drawing the flies. And I have, I, I always have a barrel right next to each water tank, and then I've got one other barrel that I will, that's kind of portable, that I will take around through the farm and, and wherever my cows happen to be um, in a pasture, I will set that barrel, you know, in the vicinity there and, and you know, kind of leave it even a couple days afterwards to help clean up the flies that, that remain there. And, and probably, too, this prevents more flies from continuously reproducing. It, it really helps break up the cycle. Um, and I guess in addition to the, the fly barrel, 
Um, with our rotational grazing system, I manage our pastures so that the cows aren't in one pasture close to the next, close to the next, that I really hop around and go from one end of the barn to the other. Because the flies tend to stay in the pasture when the cows leave. So if the, if the, if the cows don't go back to the pasture right next to the, cow, to the flies, the flies don't find them as easy. And then when we clip our pastures, like this time of the year when the grass heads out and gets ahead of the cows, when we clip the pastures, I pull a small little harrow behind the mower, Ooh. and that breaks up the manure patties, and, and you know, it doesn't really give the flies, flies a place to reproduce. Great, so, so let's look inside. Okay, well, let's take this nasty thing off. Okay, so as you look in there, you're going to see a bunch of black nasty stuff stuck on the sides and that's basically when whenever the wind uh, blows really hard it tips the barrel over and, and all the flies that are in there get uh, get stuck on the side but uh, you'll see the PVC elbows that the, the flies enter in um, and then the, the stuff down at the bottom is where the flies get trapped and then there's a little uh, piece of bait pouch that I hung there and uh, to help get some get some smell going again this spring. Excellent. Thank you, Kevin.